Hi Zoe! Oh. Zoe's in the hot seat today, having just returned from New Zealand. She is going to reveal your best itinerary, her highlights, and how to get about. So over to you, Zoe. Okay, so we started in the North Island and then ventured our way further south. And the best news is the further south you go, the better it gets. So you're gonna start in Auckland, great place to do some day trips to Waikiki Island. You can go and explore the wine vineyards, or you can head on over to uh, the Hobbiton set in Matamata. Really easy on a day trip and it's a must see, even if you're not a fan. Um, the Hobbits are a must see. They're pretty good. Then next you're going to head off to uh, Rotorua, which is all about the thermal pools and the geysers and it was the home of the Maori culture experience. So you will get a full understanding of what it all is about. Then you're going to go to Lake Taupo. So this is as it starts getting better, the further south that you go. So you're still in the North Island, but this is where you can go and do an amazing day trip to the Tongariro Alpine Crossing, which you'll see later on one of my highlights, but it was amazing. Book out a whole day for it and take lots of snacks. And then you're going to end up in Wellington. Snacks or snaps? Snacks and snaps. You're going to want photos and food. <laughs> um, then you're going to wind up in Wellington, which is uh, just a beautiful place to finish in the North Island. Reflect on your experiences so far and some delicious food. And an amazing museum, not boring. How long do you think you need in the North Island? Ooh, two weeks. Oh, okay. So then you're going to hop over to the South Island? Yes. How yes. do you get over to the South Island? So you're going to take the ferry, you can oh. book it all online, okay. it's not too expensive and it takes a couple of hours and as you're getting into the final sort of half hour of the journey, it's beautiful so make sure you go outside and take some photos. Nice, okay so then the South Island, typical itinerary in the South Island? So we started in Abel Tasman which is amazing, it's a beautiful national park and it's um, beautiful beach bays, you can spend up to a week here if you wish doing coastal walks and it's brilliant it feels like a real contrast to the north island then you're going to head on over to christchurch because you can't not see that when you're in new zealand i think maybe about two days here is enough i was a little bit underwhelmed but we did some oh. good day trips from there so okay swings and roundabouts yeah so one of the day trips you can do is the mount cook experience that was a really good one very long day but completely worth it and some of my favorite photos are from that day then your final stop in the south island will be queenstown because you can't go all that way and not experience it so it's an amazing place to go and a great place for your um, experience to Milford Sound, which I will leave you to read all about in the Backpacking Advice Hub, but it's a must see and you might even get to see some dolphins. Oh, okay. And then would you fly out of Queensland to wherever you're going? Yes, yeah, okay. that's what we so that did. Connects so out. go out of Queenstown and off we off went. You go. Okay, so that sounds good. Your highlights out of, if you close your eyes and your best memories, what are them? Mm. I loved Abel Tasman because of the contrast between um, the beaches versus the sort of cities that we'd seen up in the north and it felt like we were just somewhere absolutely beautiful. You could go swimming, just spend days on the beach and lovely and warm. It was great. Okay, okay. And how do you get about in New Zealand? So slightly similar to Australia, you're going to be using a um, bus service. So the most popular ones are the Kiwi Experience. It's built for gaffers, you're going to sort of hop on, hop off. Your driver will also help you with hostels. They send around like a clipboard on the bus and you can say, yes, at the next stop, I would you know, like to be in this hostel. They really accommodate everybody. When we went there, that was completely full and I probably was a bit too old for it. So we used the intercity bus, which was exactly the same. You buy a pass, hop on, hop off. Okay, and do you buy those passes when you get out there or best before you You take can do off? either, but we did them when we were out there um, just because we, weren't that organised. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So all this information is on the Backpacking Advice Hub, is that yes, right? Yes, yes, and far more. So you're going to find out highlights, things to do, how long to stay and how to plan um, your travel around it as well. So any onward travel that you might like to go and do. Okay, so Backpacker Hub it is. Yes, all on the Backpacker Hub. Okay, awesome. Thanks. Bye. Bye.